Hi everyone, I'm Natalie, aka The Vegan Veteran. You might have seen my earlier episode about all things tofu. Um, so in that episode, I told you how to press tofu, um, marinate tofu. I showed you a couple of different tofu recipes, which I think one of them was a scrambled tofu. And we talked a little bit about um, options for using tofu in sort of sweet rather than savory um, recipes. So things like making mousses and cheesecake and stuff. Now, since I did that episode, I've perfected, I think, <laughs> not to blow my own trumpet, um, my tofu marinade. So, and it's quite different to the one I showed you in that other episode. So I wanted to just do a little mini episode to show you um, a really simple, but really tasty tofu marinade recipe. So I'm gonna take you through um, step by step how to do this. So I, like I said, I know we have talked about tofu press before, but just so it's all together, um, and if you don't want to watch that previous episode, you've got all the information you need here. So, first thing, I will show you how to press tofu. So, I've got some that I pressed earlier so that I can show you for the marinade. I'll just pour the water out. But I'll show you how to press one from, from fresh. So, uh, I'm using this Sainsbury's So Organic Tofu. Now, um, generally I find it doesn't make too much difference um, from tofu to tofu, what this tastes like. You do want to be using a firm tofu rather than a silken tofu. Silken tofu is more like, well, it's the kind of tofu you get in miso soup. Um, so it's very soft, it doesn't need pressing. Um, but, what I would say is this Sainsbury's organic tofu is by far the best tofu I've ever had. And even my meat eating boyfriend um, likes this one. It's a lot, um, it's a lot denser than normal tofu um, and it presses really well. And I, I mean, maybe it depends a little bit what you like, but personally, um, I like my tofu to be quite firm um, and not on the sort of, you know, uh, I guess more mushy sort of side. So this one I think is really, really good. We bought um, quite a few of these when we were in Sainsbury's the other week because we're only going to Sainsbury's like once every two or even three weeks at the moment. Um, so I got a load of these and then thought I can, I can sort of then show you, like I say, step by step what to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just drain off the liquid in this. Um, so just cut that open and drain it off in the sink. And then use my tofu press. Um, I will put a link to this uh, in the description bit of underneath the video so you can see where I got it from. I can't remember how much it was off the top of my head, but I got it from Amazon. So what you do, you can see on the side here, there's like three notches. Um, you can start off, if your tofu is really thick, you can start off on the sort of lower notches and then gradually press it more if you want. But with this one, I find I can just go straight to the, um, the third down, the furthest away notch. So I'm gonna do that on one side, holding this down, and then do it on the other side. And then basically you just flip these things inwards and that's it um, and in terms of how long I mean I always find it's quite convenient to just leave it in the tofu press in the fridge overnight but I think if you can press it for at least half an hour that's fine if you don't want to buy a tofu press you know if you're just sort of starting out with tofu and you're not sure whether you're gonna like it so you don't want to invest in a press um, before I had this one, I just used to put my tofu in like a dish um, and put something heavy on top of it, like a, like a saucepan or something like that, just to kind of press it out. But I, I do think if you like tofu and it's something you're going to be doing a lot, it's, it's worth investing in one of these. So that's step one done. And then I've got some here that I pressed earlier. Again, this is the Sainsbury's one and you can see that it's a lot thinner 
than um, when I got it out of the packet. So it's probably about maybe even two thirds of the size as it, as it was previously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up, which is one of the things I didn't do before, which was probably quite silly. I don't know why I didn't think to do it because obviously once you've cut the tofu up, it's got more surface area to react with the marinade. Um, so I think it's, it's much more effective if you do this. So I'm just gonna cut it in half and then cut it into sort of, I guess they're about maybe 1.5 centimeter chunks across. So I'll just do those uh, the whole way up, roughly. Some will be a bit thinner than others, but that's fine. And then I've got a Tupperware container and you want, um, you'll see why in a second, but you want one that isn't going to leak. Um, so I've got like the sort of, the ones that have got the extra flaps that kind of lock into place. Um, and they're ideal. So I'm just going to arrange these in here. Just take a bit of time to put them in. And then I'll put those to one side while I make my marinade. So there's lots of options in terms of the marinade, but this is the basic one that I've, I've been playing around with. So the first thing I'm going to use is toasted sesame oil. I can't remember whether I used this last time or whether I used olive oil, but it's worth, you can use olive oil, but it's worth getting the toasted sesame seed oil. It tastes a lot better. Um, so I'm going to add about a dessert spoon of sesame oil into that, first of all. Then I've got some miso paste. And I'm going to use about a heaped teaspoon of that, which is probably equates to about um, about a dessert spoon in terms of weight. I know that because I've been we've been playing around a little bit with my fitness plow and other similar apps recently, kind of calorie counting a little bit. Just put on a little bit of weight after the holidays. <laughs> and then I'm just mixing that up. I'm going to add about two dessert spoons of soy sauce. I am using the cucumber one because it doesn't have any sugar in. A lot of soy sauces have sugar in, which I always think is, I don't know, I've got a bit of a pet peeve about things that have sugar in and really don't need to, um, which is kind of a similar pet peeve I have around things that aren't vegan and really don't need to be, you know, so like when they put uh, milk powder in certain brands of tomato sauce and stuff. I don't think they do that so much anymore in fairness. Um, but yeah, just where it's like used as a bulking agent or something. The next thing I'm going to add is um, I'm going to squeeze a lemon. Um, I do prefer actually to use a, a lime in this recipe. Um, just personal preference, both are nice but we haven't got, I've used all the limes. So, um, so I'm using lemon this time. I love this. This is from, um, I think I got this from the range and it's got, so if you want to use lime, you put the lime in the green bit and if you want to use lemon, you put it in this bit. And it's made of metal, it's not plastic. And it just, you get all the juice out. It's really good. So juice of one lemon in there, just trying to think what you could use. If you didn't have miso paste, you could use a bit of extra soy sauce, but then, I don't know, I think it kind of needs something like the miso paste just to kind of thicken it up a bit. And um, what else could you use instead? I mean, you could put things like, um, I think I used to put a little bit of agave syrup into this, um, but again, I've been avoiding, I mean, I know that's not refined sugar, but I've been trying to avoid things like that a bit lately. Um, but you could put that in if you want, if you want a bit of sweetness to it, but I don't think it needs it, honestly. And then I've chopped up two cloves of garlic, so I'm just gonna put those straight into the container. 
If you don't like garlic or you don't have any garlic, um, you could also use spring onions, um, or you could, I mean, you could use garlic and spring onions. You can put some ginger in there. You don't have to put anything else. You can just use the marinade if you want. But um, I think that for me, the garlic does add something. And then I'm gonna pour on the marinade. So you'll see, um, this is the other thing I've, I've kind of been doing differently to last time. I used to add quite a lot of liquid um, because I kind of thought that it needed to be sort of covering the tofu more, but actually I've realized that that sort of, it doesn't really make sense because you've taken the time to press the liquid out and then you're adding more, it just doesn't really work. And when I thought about, you know, what people do with meat marinades, um, obviously they don't have like their meat floating in a marinade, you know, they, they sort of, um, they might kind of baste it or whatever you call it every so often, but. And then this is the reason I've got the one, the container with the lock, um, is then you can sort of give it a shake. And because the tofu is firm, it's not gonna fall apart or anything. And then that just really nicely coats it. So that will go in the fridge. Um, and it's kind of the longer the better. So if you can do it overnight, that's great. Um, but again, as with the sort of pressing, if you've got half an hour, that's fine. Um, I've got some here that I pressed earlier. So I'll just give that a shake. And then I'm just going to put this on a baking tray. Um, and put that into the oven. Just, just make sure the miso paste is kind of collected together a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of spread that out so that it's not all just on one bit of tofu. And what I would normally do is um i would put like some either if you can get them some like exotic mushrooms like shiitake or something on here or like if you can get what's really nice if you get like the mixed bags of, of um exotic mushrooms you know all the different kind of types of asian mushrooms that's really good and then just kind of sprinkle those on but normal mushrooms are really nice as well I'm not going to bother right now just because um, the meal I'm cooking this for, it doesn't really make sense to use mushrooms. But. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of extra soy sauce on um, just so that they don't burn. And I'm going to put those into the oven. Uh, I'm going to put them on at about 200 degrees. I'll put the oven on in a second because I don't really want the noise while I'm talking to you guys. Um, but I'll put them on at 200 degrees, probably for about, i say at least 20 minutes. Um, and then from there, it kind of depends on taste. I mean, you can leave them in for quite a long time and let them go quite crispy. Um, I probably will cook them for about half an hour. That's kind of my personal preference. But you can play around with it a little bit and see, see what you like. Um, you could fry them as well, that would, that would work. And if you wanted to kind of, I don't know, like coat them in like a, a flour or a batter or something, get like a crispier um, outing, then you can, you can do that. The other thing that I've discovered, and I've never done this before, but um, it's because I bought, as I say, I bought quite a bit of tofu when we were in Sainsbury's the other week, but it doesn't have that long a date on it. The other thing that I've discovered is that you can actually freeze tofu um, and if you if you press it first and then freeze it, so press it, I guess cut it up and then freeze it, um, that can help in terms of um, actually removing some more of the moisture. So again, if you like your tofu really kind of dense and firm like I do, then, um, then that can be quite a good way to go. So what I actually think I'm gonna do with, um, with this marinated tofu is, um, is just put it straight in the freezer and then we can use it another week. So I think that's everything I wanted to, um, to tell you guys about marinating tofu. Um, hopefully that seems easy. I thought it was quite a quick, simple recipe. 
Um, if anything's unclear, if you have any questions, please just leave comments and I will try my best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll, I'll try and find the answer. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Um, oh, and please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, I'm at Vegan Veteran UK. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.